see how big this guy is. Why is he upside down? I don't really know what I'm doing, but whatever I'm doing is not working. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And if I hit this bullseye first try, I have to go catch a fish right now. Really haven't shot this thing in a fat minute. Looks like I'm not catching the fish. And it's still January 11th right here, and I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt outside in Michigan. What's going on here? Just trying to ice fish, man. Dude, it's honestly pissing me off. I have to hit a backflip. Okay, and now we just go back. Like, simple as that. Okay. 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 I keep spinning. Jumping on a trampoline is tiring, dude. What the heck? Haven't really given you an update on the fish in a little bit, so let me show you them right now. So everybody's doing great. I just cleaned it like last week, but the Corys are just absolutely zooming around in the bottom right there. Edgar is still growing so much. Like, look at how big this guy is. But he absolutely loves me, and I absolutely love him. We just bond, and we get together very well. And Squirt right here is finally starting to grow a little bit. You can see that he is increasing in size, so you love to see that. In the Harlequins, I just, I still absolutely cannot get over how awesome they look. Just like that little school and fish in there, they look so beautiful. And Zerk, the king of the tank, well, he's just big vibe and as always, had that man since 2017. Anyways, that is a 36 gallon. It is looking beautiful. I think I have an idea of what I want to do with this one gallon tank. So what I'm thinking about doing is making that like a planted aquarium, have like a bunch of live plants in there and some rocks and just make it like look super sweet with a nice like aquascape and putting some little tiny snails in there. I think that's set in stone my idea what I'm going to do for that. So stay tuned for a future video when I ever I get to doing that. And now we'll show you the man, the myth, the legend, Larry. I mean, he's just vibing here. I kind of have to fill it up a little bit. It drained a little bit, but other than that, he's doing so well right now. Like, he is very active. I've seen him sleep in there a few times, so he's loving the log as well. And overall, I just think he looks very healthy and happy. You can see his colors are starting to pop more than we when we first got him, so love to see that. Now let's just slowly fill this thing up. So we don't literally kick up all the junk off the bottom. Nice and easy right there. Just fill it up for him so he actually has more water. There you go, Larry. Enjoy. But it's actually time to feed these guys. I usually feed them before I go to work. And I got to go in a little bit here. So let's feed these boys. There you go, buds. Eat up. I mean, these dudes just eat so much. Like, oh my goodness. I feed them twice a day because I want them to grow since they're still a uh, very young fish. Why is he upside down like that? What are you doing, Edgar? And I also like to put a little bit more food so more can get down to the bottom for these guys to eat up. Because I have these little bottom feeder tablets for them. But the problem is all the other fish just come up and tear these things up. So they're kind of pointless. But I will drop a few down there just for them. Hopefully they eat it a little bit before the bigger fish come and just absolutely tear them up. Come on, little dude. It's right there. It's literally right there. You can find it. I believe in you. Come on. Why, wh where are you going? Where are you going? Oh my goodness. So I actually went trout fishing yesterday. I'm going to show you how that went. I am back out on a river as promised. I told you I would do some river fishing here as ice season is getting delayed a little bit, but that's fine. So I came out to this river today in hopes of catching some brown trout or some rainbow trout. I don't really know. I know both of them are in this river though. I've seen people have been catching a few of them out of here. So I'm going to give it a go myself and see if I can get on some fish. Although I'm not the best at trout fishing, but I do like it. I mean, never mind. I don't like it. I suck at it and never catch any trout. All jokes aside, I really do hope I can connect on some fish, but I don't have the best track record of actually connecting on trout. I don't know why, but me and trout don't get along. I just can't seem to catch those stupid things. What I got tied on right here is this nice little black and red rooster tail on a 1000 Shimano Sedona reel with a six foot medium St. Croix rod right here. So that's what I'm going to be using today to hopefully catch some big old trout or a little trout. I don't really care. I just want to catch something. Although with it being January right now, I'm going to be looking for some deeper pockets with some stiller moving water. I don't really want to fish the rapids too much as I don't think that's where the fish will be this time of year. So what I'm doing is basically just casting it to the other side of the river and just letting it drift along while I slowly re-up the slack, keeping the line tight. So pretty much the current is doing all the work on the action. I'm just slowly retrieving it. So it's basically just gonna do a nice little drift through the entire part of the river right here. And that's kind of what I'm working with. I don't know if that's the correct way of going about it, but I feel like that's the best way to get the slowest action towards the bottom of the river. And just to make it look more natural, you know? There's, a, there's the ground, that's the ground, it's not a fish. I literally just hit bottom, but <laughs> kind of felt like a fish, to be honest. Here's a nice, like, uh, rocky ledge right here. I mean, from it, one article I read showed that in winter they like rocks, so maybe this will work. I'm not too sure. 
like no matter how much research how many times i come out here try different spots try new things i just never connect on them and i don't understand it now right here is the only section of this river that i've ever caught a trout oh, oh my gosh i actually have a fish i have a fish no way i actually have a fish oh my gosh oh my goodness gracious i have a fish i don't know what it is but i have a fish oh my gosh i think that's a brown trout oh my gosh guys that's a brown I can't even believe it. I can't believe it. Is it a brown trout? I don't even know. It's my first ever wild caught trout right here. I had no idea what I was doing today, but I just came out here to the river and I caught it on a nice spinner right there, guys. This is actually insane. I did not think I was going to catch anything today, but what a beautiful catch right there. So hopefully there's another one here today. That was really slippery. I almost fell in. I don't really know what I'm doing, but whatever I'm doing is not working. Everything that I said in this video, don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Well, if you actually came here for knowledge on how to catch trout, I just apologize uh, in advance. Actually, I guess not in advance. You've already watched this far, so sucks for you. 100 likes on this video, and I will go spend 24 hours in that TP right there. Stupid fish, dude. I swear, I can't stand trout, man. I've literally fished like two miles of this river and have not seen any sign of life. I'm starting to doubt these fish even exist. Oceans, lakes, ponds, ice fishing, all amazing. Fishing in rivers, not my thing. So yeah, I was out there for five hours. Didn't even see like any signs of life at all. Maybe I'm fishing bad rivers. Maybe I'm just terrible at trout fishing. Maybe it's a mix of both. It's probably just because I'm bad at trout fishing. You can see a little bit of snow on the ground. It's cold today. It's like 28 degrees. So that's a start. Maybe uh, we'll be ice fishing here in uh, some days in the future, hopefully. I, I just really hope we can ice fish for at least like three weeks here. Um, otherwise, this winter will be complete bust. You know how hard it is to make content? I mean, look at my content I'm posting right now. I don't even know what to do. The struggle is real. It really is. You know, I've been filming this video for like a week. I am not gonna lie. Like this video is a week in progress and this is all the content that I've got over a week. Literally been doing nothing. Anyway, something exciting. I did just plan a trip to go to Minnesota to do some ice fishing the weekend of February 4th. So uh, you guys stay tuned for that. Sometime in February, you'll see some Minnesota ice fishing videos. So that's exciting at least. Ooh -hoo. And also it is supposed to get cold here after this week. So eventually maybe sometime when I get back from Minnesota, uh, we'll have ice here and that can do some ice fishing content for y'all. So just stay tuned for that because ice fishing is about the only way to catch fish in the winter. I mean, rivers, as you can see here, trout. I mean, you can fish them, but it's still as difficult to catch trout in the winter. And I'm not a very good trout fisherman at all. So for me to go out in the winter, it's pretty much just hopeless. That might be the reason. Maybe I got to try for them in like prime time in like spring and summer. So we're going to do that in the spring and summer, try to catch trout and see if it's just, just the tough winter fishing that's getting to me or if it's just I suck at trout fishing in general. Anyways, I do appreciate you guys' view. And if you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave that thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh -oh. Can somebody come and save me? I just want to know. I want to know.